Welcome back to Breakfast Television. It is 724. We're going to have some fun now ahead of the big game on Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday coming up. It's the Friday before the big football game. And our Mike Yanni is uh, live on location this morning, Mike. And you found a direct Calgary connection to some people who are going to be right on the field, right? Is there ever? Hold on, guys. I have a few things to show you. This place is fascinating. Like, there's, there's body parts everywhere. There's feet here. <laughs> there are hands over here. But this area right here, very important location. You know why, guys? Why? This is where Harvey the Hound was born. <gasps> really? Wow. Right here. Right here. The birthplace of Harvey the Hound. We are at Street Characters. Joining me this morning, Benedict, good morning. Good Thanks morning. for joining us. Who knew that a company out of Calgary created so many mascots around the world? Yes, we've created over 2,000 mascots, probably more. Uh, we started in the early 80s with Harvey the Hound. The owner, Glenn Street, was the very first owner, and we've made so many since. Harvey, he's famous. I mean, not just in Calgary, throughout the NHL, and to think that that was the very first project for street characters? Yes, uh, yes, and the owner was the very first Harvey the Hound. And he's made, uh, we've made so many since. We've made, uh, we, are, we do mascots for the NHL, the NFL, Major League Baseball, name it, we've done it. You were telling me that you guys have mascots on every single continent in the world, except... Except for Chautica. We've done, we have mascots all over the world. You, you got to work on that. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. Walking through here, you know, you see behind us the materials, uh, the sewing machines and everything. A lot goes into the creative process on creating a mascot. Yes, it usually starts with an idea or a dream from the client. It goes through a design process and then it comes down to production. We choose the fabric, the best fabric for the character, the best uh, material and then um, some communication with the client and then we get going. Some are smaller. Some are larger. You were telling me about a mascot that was so big it barely fit through the door. We've done several mascots that barely fit through doors. Um, they usually go to big arenas. We just make sure that they have double doors. And uh, we've made uh, giant eyeballs. We've made giant TVs. Uh, we've made um, a lot of food-shaped mascots as well. <laughs> now, speaking of mascots, Super Bowl this weekend. Uh, you guys have a very important role. Yes, we have made both Rampage for the LA Rams and Path the Patriot for the Patriots. We've made uh, five winning Super Bowl mascots in the last couple of years. Five of your mascots have been for the winning teams. Yes, yes. Uh, we did last year, we did Swoop and the Patriots last year, um, and we've done more in the past as well. How does that make you feel when, you know, a mascot goes out the door? I mean, there goes your baby, right? <laughs> and then to see them, you know, on the big screen in front of a global audience, that is your work. It is. It's, it was a team uh, work, and um, it was so nice to see them on screen all the time, and I secretly cheer for them. No doubt. Yes. No <laughs> doubt. Well, that is amazing. So we're going to have a fun morning this morning. We are going to go behind the scenes and find out what it takes in the creative process about creating mascots that are seen right around the globe from right here in Calgary. Still lots to come on the show. News, weather, and traffic after the break. Welcome back to Breakfast Television, 754. Our Mike Yanni live on location this morning at a really cool business that's got a great connection to the Super Bowl. Huge connection to the Super Bowl, the big game. Come yeah. this time on Sunday, Mike, the Super Bowl champ will be crowned. And one of these two mascots created here in the city of Calgary will also be a champion. Exactly. You know what? I think you guys will get a kick out of this. This is a very important area. This is known as the spa. This is a giant bathtub. And you know what? People send their mascots here to get fixed and repaired and get refurbished. Two of the most important tools, literally a dog grooming tool yes. and a lint roller. Okay. Nice. Key tools in the spa. Yeah, very different than a human spa. Uh, you know what, fascinating walking around this morning. We're gonna take you on a real quick tour here. Over here you have, there's dozens of sewing machines uh, where they create uh, and do all the sewing. Uh, over here, this is the fabric department. Look at this, hundreds, literally hundreds of different uh, materials and fabrics to create uh, the characters. Uh, but over here, this is kind of where it all begins. Way back here, Kayla, the sewing supervisor here at Street Characters. Hello. Good morning. Hello. And you're saying this is kind of where the, the creations yeah, all start. This is kind of where it all begins. So once the clients come to us with their ideas and their desires, we get, as you can see behind us, our concept art. So this is where we start. So we get the picture and then we are tasked with creating a mascot 
to match the artwork. Okay, so it starts with a picture and then you gotta figure out how do you create that. Yeah. And this kind of gives people at home an idea, just to the right here, mm -hmm. this is the, the beginnings, it's created from foam. Yeah, so especially with our head builds, like it is all done from scratch, like no mascot head is ever the same because we wanna make sure that they're all unique in their own way. So as you can see here, we have the art on him and that's what he's supposed to look like at the end and this is where it all comes together. And eventually this will get covered with fabric and all the details will pop. And this is more than just head. The person actually fits in the arms come out through yeah. the holes here. Yeah, we got the little arm holes here, and which helps with ventilation. No doubt. <laughs> We're going to talk about ventilation in a moment, but lead us over to uh, your department, sure. and that's the, the sewing area. There's a, a lot of sewing involved in some of these costumes. How many hours? Um, anywhere between 40 to 130 hours, depending on how complicated the mascot is. The more detail, the longer it takes. No do people get to pick their own fabrics? Yes, actually. So what we do, once we have the design and the client's like, hey, this is what we want to roll with, we then send them out swatches of all our, the fabrics that we think are best, and then they'll come back and be like, hey, these are great, or hey, is there something we can slightly change to make it better? Because they want it to match their colors and their concept as closely as they can. One thing I want to talk about, I thought there were fans inside to keep you cool. Not the case. No, not here. So we find like with fans, they do create disturbance. Even the silent fans sometimes still create a bit more of a disturbance for people. And we're more concerned about safety. Right. So we don't have any fans. So that's where the cooling vest comes in place. And we also have a bunch of different ways of venting things, like making mesh underneath clothing. So it's more breathable. And we try and use the least amount of fur as we can. Because as you can imagine, fur gets very warm very fast. Right. Okay, and that's why I'm wearing this vest. This is one of the cooling vests. This one was not in the freezer. These are what the packs inside look like. Uh, and uh, how cold is this? <laughs> <laughs> I just lifted up cameraman Nick's shirt and put it against it. This is freezing cold. Okay, so next time you see me, I'm going to get into character. And the folks here at Street Characters, they're going to teach me how to become a amazing mascot. That coming up next time I see you guys. Still lots to come on the show though. News, weather, and traffic after the break. You're watching. <laughs> Welcome back to Breakfast Television. It is 8.15. Our Mike Yanni's yeah. live on location this morning as street characters. Yeah. He, okay, so it's no longer Mike Yanni, no longer the gadget yeah. guy. It's now apparently <laughs> Howie. And Howie, what are you? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> but you guys, I learned the key thing, other than it's hard to breathe in this, I'm not supposed to talk. Yeah. Oh. So we might have to, we might have to mime the segment. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm at Street Characters this morning. Street Characters has built mascots for teams around the world. Harvey the Hound was born right here. Uh, the mascots for the Super Bowl this weekend. We're born here, Kent with Street Characters. You're going to teach me how to become one with a mascot. We're going to start with the basics here. Okay. So it's the royal wave. The it, royal wave. It has to be slow and convincing, right? How's this? And then I can't see my hand. So is this is this let, right? Let me get a hug from you, a real mascot hug. Okay. And show me what right. you can do. Oh, that's pretty, oh, that's good. All right. The shaking. You got to put good. some movement into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... And then the pat, right? Exactly. And then am I supposed to grab your face and yeah. try to stick it in my mouth and yeah, things? Exactly. Maybe. <laughs> right. Make sure that There's I get in there. Not enough room there. Yeah. <laughs> not saying you have a big head. So I mean, I've got a big head. This is the basic for a performer like we have right here. The really crazy ones. As you might know, they do somersaults, they get lowered from the ceiling in big arenas, and it's very spectacular. I couldn't imagine. I'm having problems speaking because I'm breathing my own breath back in. It's hot in here, and I couldn't imagine me doing somersaults. In fact, I think if I did a somersault, I don't know, I'd be worried I had a, a costume malfunction. <laughs> and we have still done a lot for you to, to have air moving through this head, believe it or not. So. Great. What we really do for, for the advanced uh, performers is we run a mascot university, and that will happen in August uh, outside of Chicago. Wow. In conjunction with uh, Mascot Hall of Fame. And uh, this is something that we are really happy to provide because out of that comes a lot of knowledge for the 
performers that are not as advanced as the really crazy professional ones. So not only do you create the mascots, you teach people how to become that character. Yes, we, we don't leave any of our clients in the dust. We really follow up afterwards and uh, give them lots of tools to, to make the most out of the mascot in terms of branding. Okay, I was going to end with a grand finale and a somersault. I, I think, because I think I might pass out soon, I'm oh, not no! going to do that. But Ted, Leah, I mean, who thought that, you know, all these characters that we see on, a, on, on television, on, you know, globally, were born right here in Calgary, including Harvey the Hound. Oh, I was going to hop up on the table, but I forgot I have a tail. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mike, how, how heavy is the costume? How heavy is the costume, Mike? <laughs> And they, and to make matters worse, to make matters worse, they added a belly to me. Uh. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done. Oh. I'll see you guys back at the station. Oh, you got to bring that back to the station, Mike. That's amazing.